Hey everybody, welcome to Cheryl's Road Adventurers. Please join me as I travel around exploring hidden gems and embracing the thrill of the open road. Every video is a new journey filled with adventure, inspiration, and a few surprises along the way. Buckle up and let's hit the road. section of the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina. Um, now the Blue Ridge Parkway is fairly long. It goes through two states <laughs> at least, um, but it is gorgeous. Um, I do know it goes through Virginia and North Carolina, but I don't know if it also t touches Tennessee or not. Um, but I wanted to show you um, the river. <laughs> Now it is really really pretty it is wide <laughs> um, there's not much of a view from around here but there is the river right there Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit but there's the view of just part of the river you can't really see it because of all the greenery it goes around the corner but here is a little bit of information about the board. It was originally called Broad River, but then they changed it to French Broad River. There's some information right there if you want to read it. Um, but it was changed by the 18th century. Um, French hunters and traders there. But, yeah, it is really cool this guy right there has a creepy looking face on him <laughs> to me he does <laughs> but and then there is um, the river and everything in the Blue Ridge Parkway on the map now, French Broad goes from Tennessee down into North Carolina and South Carolina is where the how long the French Broad River is but right now we are going to be traveling a little sections of the road and I will definitely be checking out every spot I can catch for the next few miles um, and we will check them out. We would Parkway and I pulled over at a section um, that's called Walnut Grove and I came over here to the shade for a few moments and I came across a plant I wanted to show you. Now this right here, if you see this, it, this is what it looks like before it turns colors, but then it will change to what it looks like either a blueberry or blackberry color. Um, the entire plant is poisonous. It's called pokeweed. So if you ever see one of these things, Please don't eat the fruit. It is poisonous um, the, from the leaves to the stems to the berries. So please do not eat any of these right here. Um, I would hate for you or your family to get sick <laughs> um, because of it. So please just keep an eye out for that. Um, this is the first time I've personally ever seen poke weed. I first when I first saw them, I'm like, oh, berries, yes, <laughs> I want to try one. But then I was like, okay, let me ask Google Lens um, what they are before I <laughs> just grabbed them. And that's how I found out. So stay away from poke weeds. But for now, let's, I'm gonna sit right back in this side because I want to show you this view of, um, it's called Walnut Grove. And it is really pretty and yeah it's just absolutely gorgeous and there's some more of those poke weeds right there but yeah just look at this view of all the mountains I mean unfortunately there are some houses out here um, that takes up some of the view but wow it's just 
yeah it's just amazing to see all the greenery and I'm pretty sure that um, in the next month or so all this green is going to turn into lots of um, oranges and reds and all those beautiful um, fall colors and and so yeah just imagine that having all this do that just holy cow so for now we're going to go on to the next step okay guys so the um, after I did the video section part of showing off the pokeberry and the walnut grove um, a gentleman started talking to me about the pokeberries they are also known as ink berries that they used to way back when when they um, used to use pens where you dip it into the ink and then you write back that way back then um, they would use these berries the poke berries uh, to use as ink and I thought that was pretty cool and he did say that in the springtime you could you if once the it's you know the the small sprouts you can eat those as grains just the green parts but I don't know how true that is I didn't um, I'm just going by what he said so if, um, <laughs> I highly suggest you guys <laughs> doing your own research um, I do not suggest eating any of it at any time um, because of the fact that um, from what I saw the little bit I saw was that it's all poisonous so if you want you can look it up yourself and do your own research um, on pokeberries and yeah it I thought that was kind of cool information and then he also said the Indians used to take the red part this um, the red part here let me show you these right there the, the stems um, that is what Indians used to take and mash up really good and then throw it out into the water to catch fish. That's how they would eat. Um, so I thought that was that was pretty cool information. Um, but I personally would never ever eat any of this plant. I don't care how old the plant is, whether it's little teeny tiny um, sprouts or the entire. You know, once it comes huge, it says it's it gets three meters tall, which I don't know how many feet that three meters is. I would have to look that up. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool information that he gave me. Hey guys, so I was heading to my next destination. Sorry, I'm half watching for cars here. Um, and I was coming up to do something pretty cool. There is a car coming. So, and I was like, okay, let me see if I can pull over and check. And so I found a little grassy area to pull over just for a split second. Um, and I wanted to show you something really cool. Look at that. That is amazing. It's Grassy Knob Tunnel, which is what it's called. And I, I'm about to go through it. Um, I won't be able to record too much with it because I don't have a way to record while I'm driving. Um, and so for safety reasons, I'm not going to do that. Um, right now but yeah I look at oh my god look how pretty that is so yeah okay so I just went through the tunnel and it was amazing I loved it uh, you will need headlights to go through that tunnel if you go through it um, about halfway through it is completely dark until you get to the other half where you start seeing a little bit of light but it is 100% dark in there uh, for the first half um, but I wanted to show you where I am now and it is absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to show you where I am. I mean, holy cow, this beauty here. Look at this. I mean, I don't know what town that is, but... It is absolutely wonderful. And all of the mountains right there. It's just, holy cow. 
Now there are some trails over here that you can take that are um, near the parking lot. Just I, from what I saw, there were three of them. Um, one here. Let me just show you. Be so much easier. So there's the parking lot right there, and then you go down this pathway right here. And it goes off to three different spots. And if you go left right there, you'll go up up that direction. So it is a hike going up, but at least it'll be easy coming down. Now these stairs are not, a lot of them are not um, your typical step like you see in the house. Like this one right here is like a, a little bit bigger than a normal step so if you have young ones or if you're struggling with your knees or whatever please be careful with these stairs because there is no guardrail or handrail depending on what you want to call them but they are a little bit steeper and then you can go down the hill there but you gotta remember you gotta come back up <laughs> or you can go this way. I did walk a little bit this way and all I saw was just pretty much um, as far as you can get <laughs> considering it is the mountains. But it goes off this way. And this is where I stopped because I saw it looking like it's flat for the most part. And it looks like it continues off this direction. Let's see. This, <laughs> this is this is more for me right here. This kind of trail, because I'm not used to hiking at all. It looks like it does slightly go uphill a little bit right there, but not too bad. But yeah, it's just a lot of woods all around, except for this trail right here. There's the parking lot right there, pretty much. Um, so. I don't know how, I don't know how um, bad this tra any of the trails are, because um, I'm wanting to start hiking, but right now I want to make sure I have the time to hike and everything, so I won't be able to do that today. I just don't have the time. I'm supposed to be picking up stuff for my parents who is expecting it soon. So I was like, okay, let me take it easy and I will do a hiking trail in the future don't worry i promise i will do one okay guys i'm at my next stop on the blue ridge parkway and i'm going to be getting off shortly but for now i wanted to show you uh mills river valley overlook look at that it looks like water way off there in the distance way right over there but yeah wow i mean it is absolutely gorgeous up here now picture it all being all the fall colors which I do plan on trying to come up here during the fall to show you the difference what it looks like from now and during the fall time it will be fairly busy during the fall because we get a lot of people coming up here um, during that season to check the, all these out but I mean holy cow I can't wait to do the fall and come up here on Blue Ridge Parkway. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is that while um, you are, if you, or I should not say while you are, but if you're planning on coming out here to the Blue Ridge Parkway, make sure you check ahead of time because there are some times where they close off the roads in sections for different reasons, whether it is um, because of the weather or there may be a tray down, whatever the case may be. And I just want to let you guys know about that. So if you do plan traveling, coming up here, for, especially during the fall, make sure you check ahead of time during that time to see if you're, you know, if the road is all the way open. Because there are a few areas that 
allow you to get on and off. There are a lot of overlooks, but not a lot of um, places to get on and off. So I wanted to show you something I discovered. So I was showing you Mills River Valley, um, but across the street. Look at this, right across the street. Look how gorgeous that is. And it's literally on the other side of the road from Mills River Valley Overlook. But yeah, I mean, that is absolutely breathtaking. It's just, oh my God, I can't believe I live around here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So on my route, I came across Pisgah Inn, uh, which is on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And they have an inn, they have, it looks like some sandwiches kind of stuff inside. Um, so you can either stay here in a room or they also have campground area for you guys to go in. And they also have like a little gift shop right here. And they have grab and go. So if you're looking for a snack on your travel, cause it is a long drive on here, um, you can stop in there. Um, there is also a really pretty overlook that's over here. They do allow dogs on property, but you, you are not allowed inside the gift shop or on the back deck. But you are allowed to come back here with your pets if you have dogs just to get them out. Because I know how it is getting cooped up in a car for too long. But holy cow, look at this. Just amazing. Hello? Okay, so they have this map. If you want to pause it and look at it a little bit closer. But holy cow, it is, this whole area is just breathtaking. Just beautiful. Now there are seatings here and also over there as well. So if you have a dog, I don't want to keep on aiming my camera that, in either way because there's people. But you can, there's chairs there, you can bring your dog to sit and just relax, eat a sandwich or whatnot. Holy cow, I like that view the best out of all so far. I have this, I have this view here. This, this way is my favorite. Right there. But wow, just absolutely. Absolutely just breathtaking right there. I love it. So I stopped inside the gift shop and I don't want to jump too much because I don't want, I want to respect people's um, space. But as you can see, there's shirts behind me. I'll flip the camera. Um, you have shirts. You have some really pretty paintings up there with hats. And then you have some ceramic stuff right here. These back stuff, jewelry. You get some more stuff over there. And then you get some really pretty night lights. I'll get the hiccups for a second there. But it's a really pretty. So. I just wanted to show off some stuff. They always have a little <laughs> cute bear section here. And of course they have postcards and magnets. You know, things that you see inside of the gift shop. So, I just wanted to show it off to you guys a little bit. So, I got off the Blue Ridge Parkway. And I was heading home when I came across something really cool. Look at this. It is so peaceful and calming. It's literally right on the side of the road. And there is a nice little dam right there. And it goes on out. Holy cow. 
It's just absolutely breathtaking. I've always loved streams, rivers, waterfalls, oceans, <laughs> anything that's body water. I love it. Um, now you might be able to <laughs> climb down carefully right there. Um, I don't want to do it because I'm afraid I may not get up without help. <laughs> I am not the best. I don't have the best balance. But yeah, just holy cow. Look at that. Just absolutely breathtaking. It looks a little deep in some areas. And I really wish I could go down there and get in, you know, test out and look at it. But my favorite is this view right here. Holy cow. Just absolutely just stunning. And then, of course, there is this like little pathway there. But I, like I said, I, I wouldn't go down that path. Wow. Just beautiful. Mm, I love it. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on this road adventure. And I cannot wait until we do our next one. So I will see you guys all on the next road trip. See you guys then. Love you. Mwah. Bye.